Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and review a scent that was touched or released in the year of 2013. The fragrance is from the house of By Killian. We're talking about apple brandy. Now apple brandy was a fragrance, I actually smelled it right before it was released. I happened to be at the Killian store and there was uh, basically some mix up that allowed me to go ahead and smell the scent. Uh, it kind of fell off my radar after that, but I decided to go ahead and pick up the review and start uh, doing the full review and here we are. Now, uh, the fragrance is, it's a by Killian, so you know it's a little bit more on the expensive side. If you go for the, you know, full on package of, from the Killian line, uh, you're going to be paying upwards over, you know, $200, $300. Uh, whereas if you just purchase the refill for it, you'll pay, I think it's $100 less immediately for it. So uh, if, if uh, the presentation is not what suits you, then, uh, you know, feel free. You have some options there, what you can go ahead and choose. Let's go ahead and get into the notes of the fragrance. The notes of the fragrance are listed on screen. Um, very simple notes, and really, it's woods, labdanum, and uh, vanilla. So, what do you get with this scent, man? I mean, shockingly, despite those notes, this smells like apples and brandy. I mean, um, there is a little bit of a woody undertone to it. Uh, not a little bit. Uh, there is a woody undertone to it, but at the end of the day, this smells like apple brandy. Um, the way that they did it, and I'm... This scent made me so curious just because I could swear, yeah, I can smell the labdanum, I can swear I can smell the, the cedar, the oak, uh, the vanilla, but the way that it combines, you know, to give you apple brandy to me is either they just didn't tell the truth about the notes or, you know, the way that they mixed it is just magical. So I'm not going to cast any aspersions or anything like that and besmirch anyone or, you know, be rude or anything like that, but I just think it's fascinating at that. This smell smells like apple brandy. It smells like apples. It's probably one of the more natural apple scents out of any fragrance that I've actually come across, and it doesn't have any apple in it. Um, the brandy smell is definitely there, so it's like a boozy, apple-y type of a vibe is really what you're getting from this scent, which does smell really good. Now, sometimes if you spray a little bit too much on, I go about two, three sprays on it. If you spray more than that, it can get cloying and it can get sickeningly sweet, if you will. Uh, it, it's a good fragrance for the club. It's a good fragrance for a night out. It's a really sensual scent in that. Um, the one danger is that it smells so close to apple brandy, it might smell that you spilled some on you. But at the end of the day, it is actually a really nice scent. Um, I did not get any compliments on this fragrance. I think it'll be actually a decent compliment getter. Um, it really depends on who you're with. If I, I, I think this is a good scent for any you know time of the year. Uh, it has decent performance. I'm talking about six hours performance, um, and then it begins to fall off and become more of a little bit of a woody scent. Um, any age group can go ahead and pull this one off, though I think a little bit, it's a little bit more suited toward uh, people who are a little bit of the mature age. All right? So, if I'm going to go ahead and give this scent a rating, I give the scent a rating 3 out of 5 stars. Now, my main big gripe with this scent is it's, you know, when you're actually going to wear it. I actually love this scent in terms of the actual scent itself, and despite the fact that I'm giving it 3 out of 5 stars, this will probably sit a little higher in my hierarchy. Like in my personal, you know, scent realm, it'll probably be a three and a half or a four out of five stars. But as for the purpose of a review, uh, I think it does uh, kind of, one, it's a little bit expensive for that um, tone. Two, on the positive side, it is, an, it is a very uh, close to apple brandy smelling scent. On the negative side, most people I think that I come across may not want to necessarily smell like apple brandy. But if you're a fan of apples, check this one out because it does have one of the more natural smelling scents of apples that I've ever come across, which is fantastic. And if you're a fan of boozy scents, go ahead and check this one out. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Three out of five stars, solid review. At the end of the day, solid scent from the house of By Killian. All right, that's pretty much it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the fragrance and leave your comments down below so it can help other people out. So thank you, take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.